Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to add sound to a scene in your game using Unity. Um, so when it comes to sound in Unity, you can add sounds that play constantly in a scene, such as background music um, or different sound effects like maybe a frog croaking um, if you're near water or something like that. And you can also add sounds that only occur every now and then or that occur after an event like pressing a key or um, hitting an object, something like that. So sounds can also be looped, so they can repeat over and over again, or they can just play once, um, or they can play on cue. There's also 2D sound, so that's sound that's heard everywhere in your scene, so as you move around, you hear the, the sound everywhere, and it doesn't really change. And there's also 3D sound, so that's heard only when you're in a spe specified proximity to an object or a sound that's attached to an object. So you only hear it in specific locations or within a specified distance or something. Um, a sound can be scripted, but you can also add sound without any code at all, which is what we'll do first in this tutorial. So to add sound to your scene or to add audio to your scene, you need to follow these steps. So firstly, make sure that there's one and only one audio listener component you in your scene. So the audio listener component, if you've got like a first person controller, it should be um, usually attached to that or within one of the child objects attached to it. Um, so I've got a first person controller here and if I click on the objects inside it, here we go, I can see that there's an audio listener there. So there should only be one audio listener. If you've got another camera in your scene, so you might have cameras in different um, parts of your scene, um, make sure that they don't also have audio listeners. So there should only be one audio listener attached, um, or one audio listener in your scene at a time. If you have more than one audio listener, you're going to get problems with the sound and you'll also get an error message. So when you run your scene, when you click on play, if you see in the console or down the bottom, there's, there's an error message saying there's more than one audio listener then you need to have a look around the objects in your hierarchy, the assets, and um, you need to make sure that you delete or disable any of the audio listeners except for one. And that's the audio listener that will usually be attached to either your main camera that you're using or the character's um, camera. So just one audio listener. All right. Um, uh, next thing you need to do is have an object. So either create an object, an, em an empty object, um, or it can be something like a cube or a sphere, or use an existing object in your scene that you want to actually add the sound to. So you might like have a dog in your scene that's barking, and you want to add a sound to that dog. So you can select the 3D dog object and add a sound to that. Now, I'm going to add a barking dog sound, but I don't have a dog 3D model to use here. I've just got a sphere, so I'm going to add it to the sphere instead. Okay, and you can just pretend that it's a dog. Um, so you need to select the object and you need to go to the inspector panel and click on add component. All right. Um, just type in audio, start typing audio and need to add audio source. So click on audio source to add that component there to the inspector. And you'll see that there's a little audio, um, graphic on the top of your object. Now a little speaker icon. Um, okay. So after you've done that, you need to find an audio file. Um, and you need to, it can be an MP3, it can be an OG file, it can be a WAV file. Most of the big file types are accepted and that needs to be added to the audio clip property, which is here on the audio source component. So in my assets folder, I've got an audio folder. And if I just go into, um, finder here, I'm going to drag this WAV file here. It's called bark.wav. I'm going to drag that in there to the audio folder comes up there. All right, I'm going to click on my sphere, scroll down until I see the audio source component, and I'm going to drag this audio file onto audio clip. Now I can, I can either drag it on there or I can click on the circle there and look for any audio files that exist already. So I can actually see bark is already there. So I could just double click on that. Um, so I'll double click on that. And now audio clip says bark. Alternatively, I could just click and drag that file over to there. All right, so I've got a barking sound there. It's called bark. 
and that's attached there to audio clip, right? That's what we want. All right, to make the sound play throughout the entire scene, we can enable play on awake, so that's checked by default. All right, and you can also check the loop option if you want this either a song or sound effect to repeat or loop throughout the entire scene. So um, what I'll do is I'll click on play, I'll just turn the sound right up. Now you might not hear this because it's going to be coming through my speakers, so it might not be heard by the microphone. But there, there we go, hopefully you heard that. So when I clicked on play, as soon as the scene started, um, the sound came from that red sphere over there, the barking sound. Now, um, if I click on loop and play it again, it should keep looping. All right, which is a bit annoying really, probably a bit too loud. Okay, so uh, might um, turn that loop off for the moment. Okay, so that's basically uh, adding a sound, playing on awake, so having the sound run when the scene runs, and then looping um, the sound. Next thing we'll do is, um, at the moment we've just been using 2D audio, but we're gonna try out 3D audio. So to use um, the audio file for 3D audio, scroll down until you see Spatial Blend and drag 2D all the way to 3D. Now you can have it between, but for this we're gonna drag it all the way to 3D and it should say one in that value box there, okay? Now, basically what 3D sound means is that we'll only hear this sound when we're in you know specified proximity of this object. So you can see here 3D sound settings. You can change different effects there, but you can also change the maximum distance that this sound can be heard from. At the moment it's 500, we could make it less, we can make it bigger, but that specifies how far away from the object you can be in the scene before you stop hearing the sound. All right, now because it's actually a, a short sound, it only goes for about a second or less, it's not a song, we might actually just check loop again so that we can continue hearing that sound. Um, all right. So now it's 3D audio, it means that we'll only hear the sound when we're near this object. All right, so we can click on play. All right, now as soon as I start the scene, I can hear the dog barking and that's because I'm near the object. As I get closer, it should get louder. All right, so I'm, I'm right on top of the object now, so it's really loud. As I walk away, it gets quieter. All right, if I run right away, all the way over here, I shouldn't be able to hear it anymore. Eventually, I shouldn't be able to hear it anymore. Okay, oops. All right, I can still hear it because I'm within that specified distance of 500, but I can only just hear it. If I lower that a little bit, maybe if I make it 50, and play it again. I can hear it. And so pass it'll get louder. But if I go away pretty far, I shouldn't be able to hear it anymore. So it's getting quieter and quieter. And I can still just hear it, but only just. All right, now I, I can't really hear that sound anymore. All right, so you can fiddle around with the distance there, specify how far away you can be before you stop hearing it. All right, maybe make it less. So if it's an object that you only want to hear when you're really, really close to it, then you need to make that value a lot lower. Okay, so even with five, I can still hear it. So you might want to make it like one or something like that. Okay, 
All right, so that's um, 3D audio, which is pretty cool. Um, but at the moment, we've just been adding sound without even adding any scripts. So we can actually um, add scripts to control the audio. So what we can do is we can create a new script. And we can I'll just make, go to the scripts folder. And I've actually got a script here already um, that I've used before, but I'll just delete that and create another one again. So right click, create C sharp script in either your assets folder or scripts folder. I'm going to call this audio script and double click on that to open it up so that I can edit it. Okay, now here we go. So what I can actually do is if I go back to that sphere and go to the audio source, I can untick or uncheck this box where it says play on awake. And instead of just having it play on awake or play as soon as the scene runs, I can do the same thing, but I can tr control it through code. So in the start method, I could put get component. Now the scripting is a little bit different in different versions of Unity. I'm using version um, five. So you put get component and then in angle, angle brackets, audio source with capital S and then bracket bracket dot play and then bracket bracket semicolon. All right, so get component audio source dot play. All right, now if I run it, Oh, well, actually, I need to attach that script first. So click on the sphere, drag that script. Where is it here? Audio script, drag it onto the sphere. All right, so now it's down here. If I click on play, it starts um, playing that audio straight away. So it's, con it's controlled by a script though. So even though I have this box unchecked, play and awake unchecked, it still starts um, that audio file as soon as the scene runs. Now, I um, could control that by some sort of event. Um, so, by the way, if you want, um, you can have something like, if you want to stop an audio um, source from playing, you can put dot stop instead of play. All right. What we'll do now, though, is we'll control this, but we'll do it with... Um, some sort of an event. So we can just have a key press event. So I'll delete that from the start method. And this time I'm gonna to go to the update method and I'm gonna have an if statement with um, some input. So I'm gonna put if input in brackets, capital I dot get key. And then in brackets, key code, oops. In brackets, key code. And after the key code dot, I'm gonna put whatever key I want to press to hear the sound. So for example, if you're pressing the, if you're making your own first person controller and you press the space key to jump, you might want to have a jumping sound effect um, and a landing sound effect as well. Um, you might want to, when you fire a weapon, you, like a laser or something like that, you might want to have a laser sound effect when you press a key. All right. Um, so in this example, I'm going to use the space key. So I will be jumping and close the brackets off there for the get key method and also for input. Um, so I'm going to have this barking sound playing when I actually um, a jump and press the space key. All right. Okay. So then I need to add the curly brackets here to specify what will happen if this if statement evaluates to true. It's so going to put get component again as before audio source bracket bracket dot play bracket bracket semicolon all right so all of that is inside the if statement all right so basically this sound the bark sound will only play when the actual um, when the space key is being pressed all right now you could add some more code to that as well so you could have like um, if get component audio source and instead of dot play, you could have is playing equals true. Then the action that would occur inside the if statement 
might be get component audio source dot stop. So um, if a sound is playing and you press a key, it will stop. And if a sound isn't playing and you press a key, it will start. So you could have like an if statement and an else statement, and you can use dot is playing equals true or dot is playing equals false to check if a sound is actually playing. So um, we'll have a look at that in a sec, but I'll save this code and I'll turn off loop as well. So I only hear that dog bark once when I press space and run the scene. Okay, can't hear anything, I press space and I can hear that sound. Now remember, it's 3D audio. So when I, I'm only gonna hear that sound when I press space, um, if I'm close to the object. So I press it once, I hear the dog, but if I hold it down, it repeats, okay? So if you wanna hear that sound when you press space anywhere in the scene, then just make sure to drag that bar back to 2D sound. Okay, I'm gonna go back and change that code just slightly. So this time I'm going to have, um, I'm gonna have if input.get key, key code.space, um, but I'm gonna have another if statement in there. I'm gonna put this inside the um, nested if statement. So I'm gonna say if uh, get component, so in brackets, get component, all right, and then in angle brackets, audio source, bracket, bracket, dot is playing equals true. So that's my condition. So if playing equals, is playing equals true means if the audio is playing, then I'm going to um, stop the sound, so I'll change dot play to stop. All right, so if input dot get key, key code space, so if I press the space key and if the sound is playing, it will stop, okay? Um, else, get component, and we can actually just copy and paste this here. else get component audio source dot play. So in other words, when I press the space key, it will also check um, whether it's already playing. If it's playing, it will stop. If it's not playing, then it will play. All right, that should be it. So save and we can run this scene. All right, so there's no sound at the moment. If I press space, it plays. If I press space again, it plays. And also you'll notice that when I hold down the key, the sound doesn't really kind of overlap or um, it doesn't interrupt as much. So before when I was holding down space um, and it was repeating, it was actually kind of interrupting the sound and starting from the beginning again. And now it doesn't really do that. It kind of plays the whole bark. Um, but what we can do is we can change that to loop again just so that we can actually see how this works properly. So I'm gonna press space. All right, now that loops the sound. I'm gonna press space again, it should stop. Okay, so it stops the sound. So um, basically, that's the if statement there, checking if the space key is being pressed. And if it is, it checks whether the song is, or the sound is already playing. If it's already playing, then it, by pressing stop, by pressing the space key, it will stop. Um, otherwise, it will play if it isn't playing. All right, so that's how to add sound, how to add audio to a scene in Unity, and how to work with 3D audio, and also how to script audio as well. All right, thanks for watching.